So a game fans don't like something and they are being called bad names for it. Ha, huh, so what else is new? Where's hi everybody and welcome to another video. Does really anybody believe this nonsense at this point? Well, I don't think so. But first, welcome my dear friends to European Lore. If you're here for the first time, a channel of a humble European fella who likes to rant about fantasy on the internet. A man who has devoted his entire personal and academic life to the finer things, to the greats of the fantasy genre of the 20th century, as well as old English literature and language and that is why this channel is from a huge part devoted to defending these great works of art against the vile creatures of Prime Video, Netflix, Disney, what have you. And for my Czech and Slovakian and Polish subscribers, keep an eye on this channel because the time is approaching of me announcing and launching my next crowdfunding campaign of my up upcoming book, an extremely humorous and satirical collection of poems and accompanying texts highly inspired by old European myths, legends and folklore, all of this being brought into the 21st century as a satire on the way people are living their lives today. So if you like genuine fun, genuine humor and well-constructed poetry, you are in for a treat. I am not selling my book as a political manifesto like many people are doing today. I am quite simply selling my book as a very good product. But we will get there. First, please do look at the screen. Now, I am not much of a gamer. If you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that. I only play about one video game a year. But this uh, could be applied to everything today. To literature, to films, and as far as literature goes, to novels, to short stories, to the comic book medium, and video games, and role-playing games, and what have you. And Dragon Age, it says, the headline of uh, the article by Bounding into Comics. Lead writer David Gader blames his misogyny for why dislike of Baldur's Gate 3 companion Lysel. Fandom has always treated male characters with more forgiveness. Now, this is uh, the broken record that we are very well aware of today. Each and every single time we are dissatisfied with something coming from the entertainment industry, we are instantly labeled as something bad and mean. Because criticism is something uh, unacceptable today. No, no. It's a no-no. And uh, that only does not only concern huge corporations, but also in independent creators, you just can't criticize anything or anybody because everybody will get immediately insulted and uh, defensive about it. So what if we just learned or relearned to accept criticism and learn from this criticism and reviews? No, it's not like that, is it? In this particular case, uh, we fans not liking something and uh, being inst instantly called histophobes or what have you, is really reminding me, or I hope it is the case, otherwise your humanity is really, really lost, I hope it's like wrestling, the American wrestling. I'm absolutely not a fan, uh, far from it, but, you know, I know what it's all about. It's all fake and kayfabe and things like that. And uh, so everybody has their role in uh, these scenarios in the entertainment industry as far as pop culture goes. So we don't like something, we pretend to get angry. Oh, we are angry. And then those those huge corporations and creators are then pretending to insult us. They are pretending to hate us. And we are pretending to be shocked that they are, that, that uh, you know, we are being called istophobes. It's all one big circus and everybody has got their roles and we know what things are going to be like months in advance. People are making videos about uh, the film. This film will flop. Uh, like a half a year before this film gets released, it's all getting very ridiculous and uh, very preposterous. And I am laughing at both sides. And really, I am on nobody's side. But let us dive into this article because this amused me a lot. Uh, so it continues. According to Dragon Age series lead writer David Gader. 
or guide uh, the Baldur's Gate 3 player base's general dislike of the game's companion Lysel is not founded in any criticism of her actual character, but rather based on an inherent sense of misogyny supposedly found across both genders in all fandoms. If I'm mispronouncing any of these names, I'm sorry, I have never been into this particular franchise, so feel free to correct me in the comments down below. And it continues, the Githyanki fighter who puts her pride in her race above almost all else, Lysel first meets the player while both are in captivity under the mind flares, the two eventually teaming up to free themselves from their predicament. One of the earliest companions available to meet in Larian, Larian Studios critically, uh, critically acclaimed RPG, Lysel is considered by many players to be less a partner and more uh, the digital representation of that one player who joins the table and refuses to cooperate even one bit. That's, that's re re really funny. Replete with a habit of su uh, suggesting the party take the most brutal and violent routes possible regardless of whether or not doing so would be advantageous. Abrasive, judgmental, and at times outright racist, Lysel combative personality has led to her becoming a bit of a pariah, half seriously and half as a meme among the game's player base. Yet, despite critics regularly raising such points as ex when explaining why they dislike the hostile heroine, the aforementioned Guider instead believes that the rejection of Lysel is yet another example of typical fandom misogyny. It gives me, like, all the flashbacks to the Disney Star Wars and the Rings of Power and uh, people not liking the, um, <laughs> the Marvel going all female in the comics and then in the films. It just, it's, didn't I say it at the beginning of the video? It's all the same, all the same. The man who crafted the core Dragon Age series main story and setting would offer his uh, disingenuous opinion on the Baldur's Gate 3 player base in response to a round of criticism be being leveled toward Githyanki on Twitter. Lazel is the RPG party member equivalent of the show Gets Really Good After Season 4, tweeted a pleasant Kenobi. On August the 15th, kicking off this specific round of discourse, I'm glad she has an arc, but I'm not putting up with her ST, which, which is shite, for 10 hours for her to re eventually maybe <laughs> stop being an arse. That's pretty funny. Agreeing with Peasant Kenobi, fellow Twitter user Black Salander then replied, But a record of their now deleted tweet provided by Games Radar, I am confident if Lay was a guy, people would be swooning about him being so edgy and such a bad boy. Taking note of Black Salander's assertion, Gaeda would join the conversation of August 17th and declare, Can confirm the Dragon Age fandom consistently gave more latitude and forgiveness to male characters as opposed to female characters in every game. It is very much a thing. Well, I can't uh, <clears throat> disprove it or prove it because, or, you know, say it's, it's right because I've never been into the game. For myself and by myself, I just, you know, want to say that if somebody, be it a real person or a fictitious person, person is annoying, I will say they are annoying, whether they are a man or a woman. So I don't know. But let us continue. Slightly disagreeing with the writer's take, independent journalist Peter Pischke would then counter, true, but I think the audience demographic was different back in 2009, to which Guider would retort, it was the same way for DA2 and DAI, not just DAO. Fandom has always treated male characters with more forgiveness, full stop. Disclosure, Pishki has a working relationship with Banning into Comics and is considered a friend by this article's author. Is it really appropriate to put personal notes like this into an article? I suppose it is. I don't know. As the dis discourse proceeded, as the discourse proceeded to unfold in this in his mentions, the stray god's role-playing musical scribe would eventually move to mute the conversation, but not before offering his final few comments on the entire matter. First, I meant the entire fandom, not just the dudes, he ultimately explained. Yes, I get it's a generalization, but you personally, liking a female character or disliking a male one 100% invalidated. Three, I didn't think this was news to anyone, to be honest. Right, it's all very fascinating, isn't it? I think I'm going to go and reread some good book. What do you think? All right, then let me know. In the comments down below what you think, and that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and Namarie.